Hello everybody, welcome to Creative Stretch. My name is Claire Preuss, I'm the Artistic Director at Downstage, and today our theme is care. So we're gonna do some yoga practice, meditation, a bit of writing, and uh, some game song stuff, and some relaxation, uh, with the theme of care at the center of it. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about care lately, just especially in the last week or so, just how we can care for ourselves, our loved ones, our community, our world. And I think of it often like a stone in a lake, you know, where it kind of ripples out from the center. So we'll start today with a lot of self-care practices and then thinking about how that may ripple out into our lives, into our community, uh, onto our planet. Speaking of planet, I was thinking of starting with um, child's pose today. Uh, when I'm in child's pose, I often feel like I'm a rock, really grounded, and I like to feel the weight of my body and welcome that weight just to sink into the supportive earth energy. So getting your, um, just coming up onto your knees the way I'm like this, and then sitting your bum back toward your heels, allow your body to fold over your thighs. And for this one, let's start with the arms by our sides, if that's comfortable for you. If you need a bit of extra support, you can put your fists on top of each other and relax your forehead into your fists. And just let the weight of your body relax into the ground. Let your neck soften. Lots of breath into the back body. As you breathe in, fully take in this present moment. Welcome it into your mind, brain space, and as you exhale, let go of any thoughts that you don't need to be thinking about, any thoughts of past or future, just let them go. Breathing in, take in this present moment, breathing out, let go of anything you don't need. A couple more deep breaths. So sweet, slowly flowing back up onto sitting on those heels. And now we're gonna move into cat-cow pose. I love this one because you can really just start to meditate on that flow of the spine that houses our central nervous system. And also in yoga, we talk about it housing the chakras, the energetic system. So spreading your fingers nice and wide, or you can come up onto your fists if your wrists are a little bit sensitive. Hips are right above your knees. Some people like to keep their toes curled under the whole time because it brings the weight a little bit to the tops of the kneecaps. You do you, figure out what suits you best. And let's start by moving from the pelvis, being very aware of our seed center, that space between the pubic bone and the belly button. Breathing out, tailbone to the ground, round your back, chin to the chest. Breathing in, tailbone to the sky, lengthen your belly button away from your pubic bone, back bend. Breathing out, tailbone to the ground, rounding your back, chin to the chest. Breathing in, tailbone to the sky, lengthen the front body, looking forward or up. Breathing out as you round. Breathing in as you arch. Last one, breathing out as you round. Feel the flow of your spine, massaging that central nervous system. Breathing in as you arch. And the next time you breathe out, curl your toes under. Take your tailbone up to the sky. Let's move into downward facing dog. Tailbone to the sky and then roll the inner thighs toward the wall behind you. Kick the heels away from each other slightly. Let your shoulders be nice and broad and roll the outer edges of your armpits to the ground as you root into that space between the index finger and the thumb. Let's take one more big deep breath here. And then breathing in, slowly come onto your hands and knees, back bend, breathing out, round your back, child's pose. Moving into a little flow here, breathing in, hands and knees, back bend, breathing out, curl your toes under, downward dog, good, breathing in, hands and knees moving slowly, steadily, Breathing out, rounding your back, child's pose. Keep this going, breathing in. I love this sequence because it just kind of rocks your brain into the present moment, breathing out. And that's a really nice way you can care for yourself, taking some time each day to be in the present moment, breathing in, breathing out. 
can be so easy to just spin on our worries or our desires, but sometimes it's nice to just be here. What are you doing right now? Feel your breath. Maybe look at the leaves on the plant in your place or go for a walk and hear the birds singing and just be present. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Being present with your loved ones as well. Really listening to them when they talk. Really taking them in as who they are right now. Coming into Downward Dog. Staying here. And then walking your hands back toward your feet. Letting the upper body soften. What a gift to give to each other. To be present with each other. And just breathe together. Whew. <laughs> Radical. All right, let's take one more deep breath here. And as long as your spine is healthy and you don't have any uh, vertebra issues, then I encourage you to breathe in and slowly roll up through the spine. Otherwise, I encourage you to keep a long spine as you come up. So breathing in, slowly rolling up through your spine. Take your time. Feel those feet underneath you. Good. Coming up to center. And now we're going to just take a little care of those shoulders of ours. And I love this one. I actually learned this in a theater practice um, from Thomas Morgan Jones. He taught me the shoulders, elbows, arms. And I love to do it. And sometimes when I lead this in a class, uh, people will actually say it along as they do it. That's cool. Or you can just do the action up to you. So here it goes. It goes shoulders, elbows, arms, and arms, elbows, shoulders, and Shoulders, elbows, arms, and arms, elbows, shoulders. One more time. Shoulders, elbows, arms, and arms, elbows, shoulders. Very good. Let's just take the hands behind the back. And notice which arm is coming underneath to start. And then you're going to relax your chin to your chest and just roll the left ear to the left shoulder. And let your jaw soften and feel both of your feet rooting in the ground. Let your tailbone be heavy. And then looking over toward your left pinky toe just for a slightly different stretch. Staying on the same side. And exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, slowly roll the right ear to the right shoulder, softening the shoulder blades down your back. And often we talk about yoga on the mat as being a practice for yoga in real life. So when we're talking about that sense of being present, look toward your right pinky toe. We're practicing being present throughout our yoga session, throughout our session together. And then see if you can play with being a bit more present in your daily life, even if it's just for like a couple minutes. And then relax the chin to your chest. And then slowly coming back to center. Sweet. Let's take those legs nice and wide. Outer edges of the feet are parallel to each other. And the way you can check that is just to check the outer edge of your feet and see if it's in alignment with the outer edge of your mat. Interlace the fingers behind your back or reach toward the top of your bum and hug the elbows toward each other, whatever feels better for your body. And then as you breathe in, float the chest up toward the sky and breathing out. Tip your pelvis forward. Take those arms up and over. Try to feel a bit of weight in the balls of the feet. So you'll notice if you're back on your heels, your bum is, uh, your hips are kind of behind your ankles and you want to tip your pelvis forward so you're feeling the alignment of those hips right above the ankles. Let's take one more deep breath here. Good, breathing in slowly, coming all the way up and breathing out, bringing your feet and hands together. And so, you take this or leave this, but a lot of times we talk in yoga about the lower back being an indication of how much you're caring for yourself or others. And sometimes when your lower back is quite tight, it can mean that you're a little bit tightened up around that creative center. And we need to be creative and juicy for ourselves in order to be a most service to others. Or try that practice anyway. See how it works for you. 
So let, this is a great one for really freeing up that lower back. If you have any sciatic issues, this is a really good one for sciatica. So feet are about one leg length apart, right foot in front of the left foot. And I like to think of the feet being in alignment with the hip bones. So I'm squaring the hip bones toward the wall in front of me, and then the legs are in alignment with those hip bones. So you're not crossing over. There's a bit of space width-wise between your feet. Draw your right hip back. Roll your left hip forward, support from your lower belly. Reach toward those elbows again. Try the other arm underneath this time. Nice broad chest as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Keep that broad chest. Lengthening forward, draw your right hip back. Keep the openness through the front body. Soften your shoulder blades into your upper back. Gaze at the big toe of the front foot. If your legs are long, flip the kneecaps away from the floor. Let's take one more deep breath here. Breathing in, slowly coming all the way up, and breathing out. Let's pivot to face the other side. Squaring those hip bones toward the wall in front of you, breathing in, open your chest, and breathing out. Tip your pelvis forward, gazing at the big toe, softening the shoulder blades into your back. Breathe fully into every cell of your being. Even if you don't have lungs in your toes, you could think about breathing down into your toes, being aware of them, visualizing your whole body, getting nice oxygenated blood from those deep breaths. And breathing in slowly, come all the way up. And breathing out, feet and hands together. Good, very nice. All right, let's do a little bit of a balancing pose just for fun. So I love this one, it's called palm tree pose. So spread your feet a little bit wider than your hip bones, toes turned out naturally, support from your lower belly. So keep thinking about sinking your tailbone back and down, floating your belly button up toward the sky, and you're gonna find one point of focus. So it's a bit easier to do it if you're looking at the floor. It's a little bit more challenging if you're looking straight ahead. So find your point of focus, interlace your fingers, and notice which index finger's at the front of your line. And then as you breathe in, begin to float the heels up off the ground, float the arms up to the sky. Good, keep breathing, be aware of your whole body here, softening your shoulders down, spreading your toes wide. Let's take two more big, deep, nourishing breaths. Sweet. Exhale, slowly taking those arms down. Good. Shake it out. Ah! All right. Shall we try again? One more time. If you want to look a little bit higher up, feel free. If you want to keep looking at the floor, feel free. Uh, interlace the fingers in the other direction. Now, if you want to get really wild, you can, <laughs> you can look at your hands. It's a moving point of focus, so it is actually a little bit different and a bit more challenging. I will try it. I make no promises. Here we go. <laughs> I'll try and see how it goes. Breathing in, float your heels up, looking at the palms of your hands, or looking at a point of focus that is stable. Good. Keep breathing. Keep feeling that support from your lower belly. Two more breaths. Exhale, slowly coming down. Good. And one more little shake. Awesome. Let's breathe in. Feet right underneath your hip bones. Breathing in. Take those arms nice and wide. Reaching up, lifting up, looking up if you'd like. Breathing out. Tip your pelvis forward. Come down onto your knees. And let's take those legs out in front of us. Bringing the soles of the feet together. So I find this uh, bound angle pose to be a really nice... Um, I, again, it feels quite caring for myself, like those forward bends I find quite cozy. So we'll try one more forward bend here. Soles of the feet together. This is a nice one for the hips and pelvis as well. And also, as we keep those hips and that hip area open, it does help to support a nice healthy lower back. Thumbs to the soles of the feet, fingers to the tops of the feet. Get nice and long in your spine as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, tipping the pelvis forward, gazing at your big toes softening your elbows into your legs or in front. Big deep breath here. Two more deep breaths.
Breathing in, slowly coming back up. Awesome. We're just going to finish with um, finish the yoga part with a gentle spinal twist today. And again, thinking of kind of hugging ourselves a bit, taking care of ourselves. So lengthen the left leg straight out in front of you. Take the right leg across that left thigh and think of sinking that right leg into the body, almost like a slight internal rotation. And then you can either leave that left leg long or you can take the sole of that left foot toward the right buttock. With your left arm, give that right leg a little hug and with your right hand, just release it back behind you, maybe onto your fingertips or the palm, depending on your anatomy. Breathing in, sit nice and tall and breathing out, start to twist from the lower spine and let that twist go all the way up your back. Soften the shoulders, feel that length in the spine. Let the weight be in the front of the sitting bones. Nice and rejuvenating for your central nervous system. Breathing in, slowly let your head come back to center and let the rest of the spine follow. Good, releasing that right, those legs out in front of you and let's try the other side. So right leg out in front now, left foot comes across that right thigh, bringing the sole of the right foot to your buttock if you'd like. Take your right arm, give that left leg a nice hug, soften that left thigh into your body, left hand behind your bum and breathing in, sit tall. Breathing out, start to twist from those bigger vertebra down below in the lumbar spine and then moving all the way up thoracic into cervical spine, looking over that left shoulder. Face is soft, shoulders are soft, only using the effort necessary. Relax a little each time you exhale. And start by unwinding from those little vertebra in the neck and then slowly coming all the way back to center. Super sweet. Thanks team. All right. So we are going to now go into meditation. Very simple. I keep it super simple with no music or guided meditation or any of that stuff just to let you practice the simplicity and I find the joyful simplicity of being present. And right now here um, in Treaty 7 Territory, Calgary, uh, you can hear the birds singing outside a little bit. You might be able to hear birds where you are, or maybe it's room noise, but just focus on something that's really chill, that's not going to take your attention in any kind of um, qualitative way, you know, oh, I like this room noise better than that room noise or whatever. It's just room noise. And we're going to do this today for, ooh, let's try it. Let's try doing it for six minutes. <gasps> Radical. Okay, six minutes of silence. Can you imagine? All right, so we're going to try it for six minutes, and you can just fast right forward through this if you're like, I'm not sitting quiet for six minutes. No problem. You do you. Okay, I'm going to do six minutes. There's going to be a little ding, ding, ding that comes on when it's done. See you on the other side.
Welcome back. Hi, how was that? <laughs> oh goodness, I love it. Um, okay, so we're going to dive into writing and we're going to do a little bit of a different thing. I always encourage free writing. I think it's a great thing to do. I tend to do it right after I come out of meditation a lot of times. Not every day, but I like to do it. Sometimes I just fill a page of, of words, not even full sentences, you know. Um, but I find it can be a nice way to just kind of let your thoughts flow in a more um, manifested way, maybe. Like, I find writing words on a page that I can then go back and read is different than just thinking thoughts. So I find it helps me to kind of keep track of, of my journey. And um, not, in a, not in a way of judging it, but in a way of going like, oh, this, I, this thing's still coming up in my life, so maybe I could take some more care with it. Or, oh, look at how far I've come since, since last year when I was writing about this thing, and now I have a very different perspective of it. So whatever it is, it can kind of help keep me on track to what I would like to manifest and create in my life. I find it's useful. So we're going to dive right into some guided writing, and we're going to dive, we're going to use this writing to lead into a bit of a physical exercise or a physical playtime that I think could be of use in your lives and could be in use in my life too. I've never actually never tried this before, so it's a bit new for me too. <laughs> it just came to me. Let's see what happens. Experimenting. Um, okay, great. So this is uh, on the theme of care. So let's just take one minute, and in one minute, I want you to write as many words as you can think of that. Um, that you relate to the sense of care. And, and let them be action words. So for instance, um, hug, maybe that's a care thing. Or reassure is a care thing, perhaps. Or um, breathe, you know, just to breathe is taking care of yourself. Uh, so it can either be ar around your, maybe stuff for yourself, but that could also be pertinent for others as well. Okay, here we go. One, oh, not one hour, one minute. <laughs> one minute, here we go. Okay, cool. Um, so now pick three of those. So I'm going to pick, you know, sometimes part of caring is letting something go. Like, ugh, I actually can just let that go. I don't need to obsess about that right now. So I'm going to pick let go. Pick three for yourself too. Three that you think are really like the most exciting for you right now. Great. Uh, so now you're going to have, your, you have your three, um, words, or maybe they're like let go, like two words together, something like that. Um, now we're going to create gestures for them. And this is very much a theater practice that we do when we're trying to find different characters. We'll find like gestures for the characters. So I'm kind of taking a theater practice and making it more about self-care. But uh, these are these are movements that you can do any time in your day to remind yourself to take care of yourself a bit. And sometimes that will also be taking care of somebody else, right? Like maybe you need a hug, but maybe you also see someone else needs a hug. Or maybe you need to take a deep breath just to be present with yourself. Maybe someone's talking to you about something that's important to them and you can just take a deep breath to be a bit more present with them and care for them. Um, okay, good. So my, my three are hug, play, and let go. So you pick your three. Now we're just going to take, let's say, one more minute. So really quick, don't, don't judge yourself. We're going to take one more minute and we're just going to make an action with your whole body, really nice and big full action um, that, uh, that you can repeat, something that you can learn for yourself and repeat. So here we go. One minute. <sighs> 
You might want to practice them a couple times so you feel what they are, remember what they are. Good, and with the last 15 seconds, see if you're already done making your stuff, um, put them together. Cool, so cool team. All right, very fun. So now I just wanna try a couple times going from the full dance, the full three together, and then making them smaller and smaller and smaller. And this is just so that you can be a little bit sneaky in your daily life. And maybe you just like really need a hug and you're in the middle of a lineup somewhere and you're not going to give yourself a hug in public. Maybe you are, but if you're not comfortable with that and maybe you're not going to announce to people you need a hug, but you just need that feeling. So you could even just do something small like that. And no one else will even know that that's a hug, but you're giving yourself a little hug of reassurance. So let's try doing them big. Here we go. Doing one. Our second one. Your third one. And now just try them small. So like you wouldn't, let's say 50%, so a little bit smaller. Good. Now imagine you're in the lineup at the grocery store and you're going to do the three. So really small, really internal. Fun, cool. Uh, so I welcome you to try that in your daily life. Uh, and who knows, you might just start wanting to dance in the grocery store. Why not? I mean, the world is always changing. Okay, good. Uh, so <laughs> let's from here go into our final relaxation. So I welcome you to lie down on the ground. I'm going to stay seated. Lie down on the ground, or if you'd rather, sit in a chair um, with a good back to it. Something that you can feel really relaxed. Uh, this is a, a version of yoga nidra, so it's um, yogic relaxation. So lying down on the ground, letting your feet be a little wider than your hips. Toes turned out naturally. You can put something under your knees if you'd like a bit of support. Let your shoulders roll back and down and let the palms of your hands open toward the sky or as close as they come naturally. Close your eyes. Have a little yawn. And let your whole body melt into the ground. This is such a time for a bit of self-care to just totally relax and be present with your body and feel the ease coming over your body, breathing in the word calm and breathing out relax. Breathing in calm, breathing out relax into that calm. Two more like that, breathing in calm, breathing out, relax, and one more. I'm going to do a rotation of awareness. As you hear the name of a body part, repeat the name of that body part in your mind or see that body part in your mind and let it relax. Right hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, palm of the right hand, back of the right hand, right wrist, right forearm, right elbow, right upper arm, right shoulder, right armpit, right side of the torso, right hip, right thigh, 
right knee, right calf, right ankle, top of the right foot, the big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, sole of the right foot, left hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, palm of the left hand, back of the left hand, left wrist, left forearm, left elbow, left upper arm, left shoulder, left armpit, left side of the torso, left hip, left thigh, left knee, left calf, left ankle, top of the left foot, the big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, sole of the left foot, right buttock, left buttock, lower back, lower belly, middle back, upper belly, upper back, the chest, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, back of the neck, front of the neck, the jaw, right cheek, left cheek, right eye socket, left eye socket, the forehead, back of the head, top of the head. Let your head, neck, shoulders relax. Let your arms, hands, fingers relax. Let your torso, pelvis, legs relax. Let your ankles, feet, and toes relax. And just take a few breaths here, becoming aware of the space behind your eyelids, the friendly darkness, and let your whole body relax into that friendly darkness.
Now, keeping your eyes closed, begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. And keeping your eyes closed, have a big stretch and maybe a yawn. And then slowly rolling onto your right side and gently coming up to sitting. And I thought today it would be fun to end with a song. And this is a camp song that I love, love, love. And it does make me think of care. There's something for me that's just eternal about this idea of gathering in a circle around a fire, singing songs, telling stories. And we're getting toward that summertime where maybe some of us are thinking about going to a cottage or going camping or the parks are opening up again. Who knows what could happen? Maybe you have a fire in your backyard. So I, I'm going to just keep singing it. <clears throat> And uh, I'll sing it five times through. You'll catch on as we go if you don't already know it. I'm going to let it grow so that the, the third one is the loudest, and then it's going to go quieter again. So we'll kind of end with that sense of just the embers of the fire. Here we go. Fire's burning, fire's burning, draw nearer, draw nearer, in the glowing, in the glowing, come sing and be merry. Fire's burning, fire's burning, draw nearer, draw nearer, in the glowing, in the glowing, come sing and be merry. Fire's burning, fire's burning, draw nearer, draw nearer, in the glowing, in the glowing, come sing and be merry. Fire's burning, fire's burning, draw nearer, draw nearer, in the glowing, in the glowing, come sing and be merry. Fire's burning, fire's burning, draw nearer, draw nearer, in the glowing, in the glowing, come sing and be merry. I wish you all the best with lots of self-care and care for those you love in our community and our world as you go through this week. And we'll see you next Monday. Thank you very much. And you can check out all of our um, library of, of sessions at downstage.ca. Thanks again. Have a great week.